everyone. I just got back from the gym. I'm gonna prepare some food right now because it's three and I didn't eat lunch yet. I'm just gonna have a little bit of the Bear Bells protein bar. I finished all of my Orgain protein powder and so I'm looking for another one that's also plant-based. I wanna try other brands and see how they compare because I've only ever really tried Orgain. And I do like it, but I just wanna see if there's another one out there that people like more. And I've seen this one brand, it literally looks very holistic and I don't remember the name of it, but if I can put a picture in, this is what it looks like. And then the other day I went to H Mart and I got this spicy dried squid king pop. It's frozen. So I think it says to put it in the microwave, but I'm pretty sure you can also put it in the air fryer, which is probably what I'm going to do so that it's a little more like warm. Let me show you this new air fryer oven thing that my family got. It's really, really nice. It was kind of hard to show you, but the brand of this is Oster and then the doors open like this and it also came with a bunch of these pans, also a pizza pan. So it's big enough to like hold a full pizza in here, but I think I'm just going to break this apart and then put it onto the tray. Okay, so while I eat, I thought it would be fun to answer some questions about interviews because I was going to make a, oh my gosh. I was going to make a separate video on this, but I think it would just be nicer if it was less formal and I kind of just gave you my advice. So actually I want to show you the food first. Um, some of the kimbaps like opened, but this is probably one of the better ones. That's actually pretty good. I would get that again. So the thing about interviews is you want to remember as much as you are trying to impress the other person, you are also trying to like vet if that institution or place or company is aligned with what you want to do for your career. You want to make sure that, you know, like this company is a good fit for you. And before you go on your interview, what's important is to do a little bit research about the actual company. You can Google look on the website itself. Sometimes they'll have like mission statements or things like that. Before you go into your interview, it's also important to have a list of questions. They're always gonna ask you that and you better have at least one or two questions um, ready because it shows that you're interested and that you're present during the interview. Also, in addition to researching about the institution or the company, if you, I'm so sorry, I don't know why this keeps falling, but in addition to researching about the company or institution that you're interviewing for, you also want to do a little bit of research on the person who's interviewing you if you do know who it's going to be. Um, but usually you don't need to go to the extent of finding like a, a common hobby. It's just more of knowing the person, knowing their seniority in the area that you're working in, things like that. So I remember when I was interviewing, there were a couple of things that caught me off guard the first time. I was asked to give a story about one of my most memorable patients and I had just come off of rotation. So they were pretty much all fresh in my mind, but I had so many memorable patients, I couldn't really choose one. Word of advice, you are most likely gonna be asked that question. So if you um, can prepare ahead of time and choose like one specific person that you want to talk about and really made a difference in how you view healthcare or how you practice, then definitely tell that story and have that story memorized or like known in the back of your head. All right, so next, you should always be prepared to talk about yourself, mainly because you are being interviewed, so they want to know about you and they want to know what kind of person you are. It doesn't have to be long and you don't need to include all the minor details like you were born on this day at this time. 
Some people also like to know about your hobbies and what you do in your spare time just because they want to make sure that you're taking time off for your mental health and things like that. So be prepared to talk about what you like to do when you're not working or when you're not in school. Honestly, practice makes perfect. I went on a couple of interviews when I was looking for jobs, so I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that like my first interview was the best interview because it wasn't, but practice makes perfect. So whether you sit in front of a mirror and ask yourself questions or you have someone ask you questions, you're just gonna get better at answering them as you go. Um, so don't beat yourself up if your first interview doesn't go the way you want it to because there's always another one for you out there. And then most importantly, just be yourself. They really just want to get to know who you are. And if you kind of like lie about things, it'll just come out later on if you end up getting the job. So just be honest. As for interview etiquette, it's important to number one, dress the part. So I know a lot of interviews now are on Zoom or video call of some sort. So dress the part, wear a business casual outfit or a suit if you want. Um, specifically for me, I think dressing up just made me feel a little more like serious that I had to kind of get myself in the shoes of being an interviewee and that's hard when you're doing it from a remote site, when you're not actually sitting in front of the person. So try to mimic it as much as possible. And how I did that was I wore like business casual clothes for my interviews. And then also your background, you want that to kind of be a little neutral. It doesn't have to be a blank wall. That might be hard to find if you live like in a house with a lot of things or there's wallpaper on your wall. Um, but something that isn't going to be distracting. So like if you have a bookcase behind you or like um, just like minimal decorations, that's probably the best. You can also blur your background if you're on Zoom. If you're on other platforms, I'm not really sure if they have other backgrounds, but just make sure that whatever is in the back of your video is appropriate. And then most interviews I think will go for at least like 30 to 45 minutes. And that's just from experience. Um, the time really does go by really fast. Like when I was taking my interviews, it didn't really feel that long, but looking back, that's how long I was like talking to these people for. All right, I'm gonna go finish my food. And then I got a ton of laundry to do. So I will see you guys later hi guys i just got to the gym and it's actually raining really hard today or it was it's also raining for like the next couple of days but i just got and i parked and it's like actually torrential rainfall where i don't even want to like get out of the car <sighs> hopefully it softens up a little bit so i can just like run inside but i really don't want to take out the umbrella because then that's like an extra thing that I need to carry. Hi everyone, I just got back from the gym and today is the day of the solar eclipse in the United States. So it's it's supposed to go from Texas all the way to Vermont, I think. And New York City is not in the total like eclipse area, but we see like a sliver of the sun so it's gonna happen in about an hour or so i just went out to like look at the sun because um it's it's like a gradual shift almost but then the peak time when you see the least amount of the sun is at like 325 ish um which is in a little bit so right now i am working on this art work piece um, one of my classmates from PA school, her sister is getting married and she reached out to me to see if I could draw a photo for her sister as like a gift. And I sent her a rough draft this morning and so she's um, giving me like input on what to change. And so I'm gonna try to change that. And then also, I'm still waiting for the hospital to give me a start date. So I reached out to the doctor 
just to see like what I could work on in the meantime and she gave me a list of antibiotics and things to kind of review and I also wanted to talk to you guys about this drama that I'm watching on Netflix which is called Queen of Tears and it's really really good it's essentially about a couple that somehow something goes awry and their marriage is like in shambles by the end of the third year together and as a viewer you don't really know what happened until you continue to watch the show and the show is supposed to help you like see the troubles of marriage but um, also showcase how these two individuals kind of revive their marriage and learn to fall in love with each other again because um, marriage is work and so you have to put in like effort in order to maintain that bond between like two people and I think the show does a really good portrayal of that. I'm gonna go back to drawing and then head back out in a little bit to see more of the clips. I tried to get a video and this is like the best I could do with my iPhone 13 so I'm so sorry about that but hopefully later on there'll be a better video that I can get. Um, That's what it looks like when I put the brightness all the way down. You hear it all the time. It looks like golden hour. But this is the peak time where the sun is only like showing a crack. Okay. I wanna, don't wanna, look up, don't look up. I wanna see what it looks like when it goes back to bright. It looks so cool. 